Yo, what's good with y'all, bro? It's your boy Don back here today with another video. And as you guys can see by the title and thumbnail, today I'll be showing y'all how to set up stream elements as your chat box. I know it's a lot of other chat boxes that you can use, like Nightbot and some other stuff like that. But me personally, I use stream elements. So I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial over how to use it. So if this video does happen to help you guys out, make sure to smash that like button and also comment in the comment section to increase with my engagement, which helps the channel out tremendously. And also feel free to hit that link in the description and cop y'all boys some merch. And then now let's go ahead and get into it. So as you guys can see right now, I am on the stream elements homepage, but it wouldn't look like this for you because of course you have to part your channel so right here as you guys can see it says part your channel right here so when you go to stream elements the first thing it's going to ask you is to do is to part your twitch channel or even your youtube channel and all you do is fill in the information and then authorize it to be able to use the data from twitch to put it onto stream elements and then once you have that set up of course the next thing i believe the most important thing when it comes to stream elements is like the chat commands and the chat bot and stuff like that so that's what i'm gonna start off with first is the chat command so as you guys can see on stream elements you get a few like default chat commands like exclamation point commands which tells you all the commands you can use in the chat and then also like accountage and watts time and leaderboard points and stuff like that cue for the music cue and stuff so these are all default things that you can use and they all are very useful like the song request queue the watts time thing my viewers do this a lot do the watts time and then also the channel points and stuff like that those are all very useful but of course you may have some points that you want to make for yourself or not points but some uh commands that you want to make for yourself and this is where you do that at so as you guys can see right here i got my social set up so if somebody puts exclamation point socials it gives them a link to all of my socials my youtube my twitter my instagram and all that type of stuff and also i got one for the discord uh, I got one to sub if somebody wants to sub and they don't have the button on their screen for some odd reason, they can do exclamation point sub and then give them a link to where they can sub to my channel on Twitch. And then also you got the YouTube, like I said, Instagram, Twitter, my IRL, YouTube, TikTok, and also my merch collection right here is exclamation point shop. Now with these, of course, I believe you can do unlimited commands if you want to just do random commands and stuff but right here is where you add one so for example say you wanted to make a command like if i didn't have my instagram i would say command name is exclamation point ig or if you want an instagram you can do exclamation point instagram which is kind of long but then you just type out a response like follow me on ig exclamation point and then you would paste whatever link it is to your instagram and then you would activate command and then the command would then pop up so when they type it in the chat like exclamation point instagram it will pop up right there but i'm gonna go ahead and delete that because i don't really need it but as you guys can see this is the command section so if you want to set up commands and stuff like this this is how you do it next i would say is the timers now what timers i believe is important for is because say you don't want your viewers to have to request for your merch link or for the discord link you just want a timer set in chat this is how you do that right here so we got the timers right here then i got some set up like discord subscribe to my youtube channel follow uh this is just like to notify like hey if you enjoy the stream make sure to drop a follow and stuff like that and then this one right here is for my merch so for the discord of course it's a timer that comes every 30 minutes that says join the discord and then it gives the discord a link and then the offline interval that means just if i'm not streaming this is how often it'll come so every two hours it'll put it into my offline chat to still join the discord and stuff like that so right here is where you adjust the time and then uh, right here is where you adjust the time offline and then this is the minimum number of chat lines that this code will activate or that this uh timer will activate so if it's not more than five uh chats in the stream then it won't activate yet. it gotta be five chats and then that's when it'll send a notification of course after the 30 minutes but then it'll send a notification so that's the timers so when it comes to setting up chat bot that's really it for stream elements i believe if i missed anything please let me know in the comment section but next video i will definitely be showing you guys other things about stream elements which is why i believe it's one of the best chat bots because you can also do media requests and then also create your custom overlays for your stream so yeah this is all i have for this video it's just a quick little video over how to get the chat bot in the chat to send out timers to send out commands and stuff like that but if you guys do want that media request and also how to set up your stream overlays, make sure to leave a like on this video and comment down below in the comment section. And it's your boy Dom, and I'll catch y'all in the next video, bruh.